If you have a few spare hours, I'd love to share the details on how this device is a masterpiece of design. Quadruple independent gearboxes enabling 0 to 20 in under 4 seconds. 10 kilometers of internal wiring. 1,100 expertly machined hand-assembled components. Flawless control at over 300 meters. But all my team needs to know is, does it do the job or doesn't it? And let me tell you right now, it does the job. Whoa, sorry to interrupt there YouTube, Logical Gamer here, bringing you another episode in the Rainbow Six Siege Operator Guides. This time we're taking an in-depth look at Twitch, let's get into it. Twitch is an attacker on the GIGN faction who carries three different primary weapons, two different secondaries, and for her special ability, she carries a shock drone. The first gun we'll be taking a look at is the F2 Assault Rifle. It has a damage of 42, a fire rate of 980, and it carries 30 rounds. So this is your perfect all-around weapon for close quarters combat in the game. This is the preferred weapon of someone who never likes to be far from the action, and with its insanely high fire rate, you'll be able to sweep rooms extremely quickly and dispatch enemies with ease. Next up on our list, we have the 417 Marksman Rifle. With 65 damage, single shot fire rate, and an ammo capacity of 10 rounds, you'll be able to take out targets quickly and accurately with 1-2 to two shots. However, if you're like me and not accurate at all, or you like to be the first guy to breach a room, you should probably avoid the 417 as its slower fire rate will hinder your performance greatly. Next on the list we have the SQ CQB shotgun with 53 damage, pump action, fire rate, and ammo capacity 7. This is just your typical shotgun, nothing special to see. Next on the list we have the first of the two handguns, the LFP 586, and that long name is just short for Magnum. It has a damage of 60, a single shot fire rate, and an ammo capacity of 6. This is my preferred sidearm as it deals great amounts of damage in style. And this clip does not show off its true potential, but the enemies here were running scared when they saw me whip this thing out. The look on this guy's face when he saw the magnum is priceless. Poor guy. Overall this is a great sidearm in a pinch, although the one downside is that it only carries 6 rounds at a time. Next up we got the P9 handgun with a damage of 40, semi-automatic fire rate, and an ammo capacity of 16. The P in the gun's name stands for Pea Shooter, as this does not do much damage at all and I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. However, it does have a plus side with a higher ammo capacity, as you can use it as a distraction or covering fire while your teammates enter a building. You also get a choice between stun grenades and breaching charges. Next up we have my favorite part of using Twitch, which is the shock drone. Now, this is just like a normal drone that you get in the game, but with a taser attached to it that can quickly disable enemy traps and gadgets. However, you have to be dead accurate with the taser in order to disable gadgets, as there's a big blue light beam that comes out of it, and if the enemy see you, there goes your new toy. All these advantages may make it seem a little overpowered, however, I'm here to tell you that it's not. It's about twice as big as the normal drone, and has color all over it, so it's very, very easy to spot on the ground. It's also not as maneuverable and doesn't have the jump ability. Now, if you're wondering if this thing could do damage to enemies, it can, and it can even bring them down, and with one shot, they're done. So by now you may be wondering how all of Twitch's equipment works with each other. Well, I've recorded the perfect gameplay that shows off the operator's true effectiveness when used properly. So I've spotted one person in the garage, but we can't get into it with the thermite charge yet, because there's a jammer in the way. So I send the shock drone in, and I find the jammer and take it out. So now that the jammer's been taken out, thermite has been given the go to plant his charge, which he does. Charge blows up, and I sweep in with my FAMAS to take out the one remaining guy. And just like that, we're in. So there you have it folks, this has been Twitch Operator In-Depth Guide, I hope you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, comment some feedback on how I'm doing, positive and negative both help, subscribe to stay updated with the latest videos, and with that, have a great day.